Okay, Chris said he's ready anytime. Anytime that you want it, let's do it now. Check, check the mic. Let's just do our, our wacky little intro, then we'll just fucking do it live. No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. It. Why not? So hello and welcome to Idiots with Instruments, the show that follows Red Hot Rebellion as we write and record brand new music and interview very, very fancy people in the music industry. My name is Jim Tramontana. I play bass and yell in Red Hot Rebellion. Hey, I'm Doug. I play guitar and in the least important vocal. I am Undress. I play the drums and I am the second fiddle <laughs> as ter- in terms of vocals. And he is now known as the Poomless Wonder. He has yeah. violated the the law of the, the law of the poom and the shaved the poom. The poom. Yeah. So yeah. we we know it will come again, and everyone has a poom inside of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mine is just now in my heart. It's an internal and, uh, poom <laughs> in in my nether regions as well. Mm. <laughs> it's where the, the most manly poom. Is poom. So we have a cool interview for y'all today. We are going to talk to a very fancy gentleman. So uh, you know what? Did you text me his phone number? I did. Okay, good, because I don't want to say that on the the radio here. Yeah. Is that what we talk on the radio? Yeah, it it works. Yeah. What a podcast. Kids are like, what's a radio? Set the whole thing out. Hello? 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 Hey. 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 Hey, is this Chris? This is. Hey, Chris. This is uh, Jim. I'm the bass player, Andres' buddy, and uh, yeah. with Idiots with Instruments. How are you doing today, fella? I'm doing. I'm doing amazing. How are you guys? We're doing all right. All right. Yeah. So we got Good. me on the phone. I'm Jim, and Doug is our guitar player. Say hi, Dougie. Hey, Dougie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hi. That's jokes. How Hi. you guys doing? Good, hey, good, good man. Good. Well, thanks for taking the call. Um, what oh, I'm going to do? Absolutely, my, my my pleasure. Yeah, we're going to do like a just a tiny little intro. Um, yeah, mean, no worries. And then we'll like just be off to the races, just chitty chatting about rock and roll and music and how fancy you are, if that's cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. if, if if only you could see me now, what I'm doing. Uh. You would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you in the bathroom? This, this, I don't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> almost. Uh, I'm actually right next to one, but I'm at a coffee shop. Oh, in yeah. Jacksonville, and I'm like, just nice. I just I just ordered a cookie, and I, I got like a, like a nice uh, um, um, Chemex coffee and chocolate, and I just went back and ordered like another cookie. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like sitting there, just like, ah, fuck it, like tomorrow's my off day, like yeah, yeah. fuck it, yeah, just give me all your cookies. So yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, that sounds delightful. Nice. That sounds amazing. Yeah. So it's okay, per- yeah, perfect. So yeah, you'll be properly caffeinated and properly jacked up on sugar. So absolutely, Let's, yeah, that's the way I like it. Yeah, let her rip. Perfect. All right. Yeah. So yes. Okie dokie. So joining us today, ladies and gentlemen, is a very fancy bass player and all-around musician and nice fella. He is Chris Aiken from the SoCal punk band Strung Out. Chris, what welcome up? to the show. <laughs> hey, what up, guys? How hey. you doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm yeah. doing. I'm doing great. Uh, I am doing fabulous. Great. Uh, all the above. D. All the above. Yes. Everything. Very I nice. am in uh, I'm in Jacksonville, uh, Florida right now. We have it's our last show in Florida tonight. We have a day off tomorrow. Nice. So I uh, I decided to come to a coffee shop and get away from the band for a few hours and <laughs> just you know indulge in my my other vices that have taken over my life like sugar and coffee. So nice. I'm eating cookie cookies in coffee right now <laughs> so <laughs> that's what i'm go. doing where how you, are you guys we're doing all right yeah. we are writing and recording new music furiously in in my basement <laughs> awesome. and i was i've been fighting with a goddamn toilet all day i don't know if you've ever oh. fixed a toilet before it's the worst oh yeah, yeah they're they are they are hard they are a hard person to fix yeah. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're kind of shitty oh, oh. Yeah. oh. 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 There, there it is hey, hey. 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 where uh, <laughs> where are you where are you playing tonight there chris um Wait, first off, so okay, so we're allowed to cuss. Oh this yeah, great. Oh, yeah, okay, absolutely. good, good. Please, good. please fuck do. Fuck Say whatever awesome. you okay, want. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, cause I like, I like that shitty that the you know the jokes the the toilets are shitty. I was like, that was a great joke. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I am playing. We're playing at a place called the uh, 1904 Club. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, in yeah, yeah. like downtown Jacksonville here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm originally yeah. from Orlando, so I'm I'm familiar okay. with the Florida area. But you were born oh, in yeah. Orlando, right? Is that right? I, yeah. I was. Yes, I, I was mean, just there. I was there last night, actually. Yeah. Where uh, did you play at the Beecham last night, or where was that? We we played um uh, this place called uh sound bar okay it's actually yeah, yeah. like yeah it's like down the street from like the social and all that stuff yeah, like yeah, on that yeah, strip yeah. right there yeah we've actually never played there we usually play the social or play like the house of blues yeah 
But uh, it was cool. It was actually a rad show. Like, uh, you know, I just, think you know, I've actually played with you at the house, or one of my bands from Orlando played with you at the House of Blues what, like years and years ago, like in like early two oh, thousands. Yeah? yeah, I was in a uh, uh, like a melodic punk band called Alias Clark, and we did like a House of Punk thing, and I think it was strung out. And uh, like we were like one of the first bands, but fuck, I can't oh, remember. Cool. So I may have met you before, but you just recently met our fabulous drummer Andres, and now you yeah. guys are like best buddies. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, 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 we're uh, we're texting every day, like uh, <laughs> yeah. face, Facebook, just tagging him on Facebook and Instagram, <laughs> yeah. like hash, I'm hashtagging the shit out of everything. Yeah, yep. has, he, yeah no, has he sent you any of his bit emojis yet? <laughs> I have, but I, I would love to get them. I would love to get them. They're very uncomfortable. I'll send you very a whole uncomfortable. Bunch. Yeah. So one of the, one of the when interesting, I had my mustache. yeah, one of the interesting <laughs> things he was telling me is that uh, on your off days and when you're on tour, you do uh, lessons as well. And like, how does that yeah. work? Like, so are you are these are like in person lessons with people in different cities? How does that work? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much. Um, actually, our guitar player Jake sort of doing um, and he, he kind of hit me to it recently. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I mean, we've done lessons before, like years and years ago, like just at home. You know, but we've never done it like on tour because now it's different. Like on tour, you're like you can broadcast that. Be like, yeah, we're going on tour and uh, you know, off the lesson. So people actually come out. You know, it's actually been good. Um, so and it- honestly, it's just it's just fun. Like you, pretty much, people just want to learn strung out songs. But um, right. there are definitely people that want to like hmm. you know just kind of like, hey, I have some bad technique or I want to get better technique or yeah. um, or oh. honestly, there's just ones I had the other day. Like I just want to know how do you write songs? Like what are your right. what's your process? So it actually, yeah. it, it, every hmm. one of them's been really fun. They're all they're all like. They all bring something different to the table, so it just keeps it something exciting, you know, yeah. that's going on during the day instead of the same mundane kind of yeah. sound check kind of right. thing. You it know, it keeps you off the streets and not off of that crack cocaine yeah. they're pushing on. Yeah, all the kids. It, it, exactly. <laughs> it, it, I traded one white sugar for the other white sugar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now, yeah. now I'm at yeah. a fucking coffee shop drinking fucking coffee and having right. chocolate. I I have chocolates and cookies in front of me, oh, like Jesus. no no joke. That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds yeah. awesome. That's that's so, really cool. So so the lessons will fuel your uh, coffee and sugar buzz, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They, 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 I'm only doing them just so it can suffice my yeah. my sugar habit. You're in deep, That's man. the only reason. Yeah, you, I'm in you're deep. Like, like you got a disease. You're like out on the corner. Yeah. Does anybody need a lesson, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys need a fucking lesson, man. I'm, I'm fucking feeding right now. I'm fucking feeding. Can I give yeah. you a lesson, please? <laughs> yeah, Yo, man. I'll there's give you always, a lesson. There's <laughs> always some ulterior motive. This it's not like oh, I just want to give lessons. I'm like, no, yeah. I have to support my habit. Yeah. I, have ex- I have an expensive <laughs> sugar. Awesome. Yeah. It's just detrimental. Like yeah. I already sold my car for a cookie. <laughs> like I'm, 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 I'm selling my ass next. Nice. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Like what else can I do? Like yeah. what else can I sell? Yeah. Yeah. So sugar, are these coffee. are these um like one on one lessons or are they workshops or a little of both? Uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're, they're just one on one lessons. Uh, cool. It's just you know I'll have someone bring their guitar. If not, I'm like, hey, we have plenty of gu- we have plenty of guitars or plenty of bases here. You can just come mm-hmm. hang out. And it's just the the challenging thing has been like each venue. We're like, yeah, just come show up at three before sound check, <laughs> oh, and I'll right. try to cool. find somewhere to go. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, oh that's, that's it's cool, kind of like that's yeah. been challenging, you know. But uh, you know, honestly, it's it's just kind of fun. Like the one I had yesterday with this guy mm-hmm. in Orlando. Um, the second guy had the bass guy. He, him and I, he brought his bass. I'm like, actually, it's nice. I'm like, let's go on the side over here by the fire station and just be on the sidewalk. He's like, yeah, let's do that. So we're out there for like five minutes. Then all of a sudden, it started just fucking downpouring. Uh, it's like crazy. Yeah. So we had to like fucking just run. We're like, oh shit. Like, but uh, yeah, it's been, you know, it keeps you on your toes. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's been really- fun. Yeah, like we're always like, because like part of our, our deal, I don't know how much uh, A Dog told you, is like we're writing and recording Not new much. music. <laughs> and like the other half is like we're, we're trying to, like we're learning shit and we're trying to like spread more knowledge to other musicians and, and music fans and people interested right. in the process as well. Yeah. So that's kind of neat that like what you're doing, you're actually like the physical manifestation out on the tour that we're like trying to do in my fucking basement with these silly microphones and headphones. <laughs> and no, it, oh yeah, I mean, I mean. You know it is. I mean, if there's a means and there's a way to do it that you can actually like try to make it work. It's like, yeah. I mean, shit. I'd try. I'd fucking sell like falafel out of the van if I could, or like my own donuts. <laughs> you know, like yeah, I'm gonna try any kind of side gig I can and see if it picks up. You know, like yeah. Yeah. oh, all of a sudden, you know, like but um, yeah. It, honestly, you know, with music, it's something that you know that I'm sure we we all can agree that we all love. It's something that yeah. we all gravitated towards when we were younger. Um, I mean, for me, it's like I gravitated towards music when I was like seven. And oh, then wow. more so in like junior high and high school, I was always moving like every other year. My parents were always chasing work and I was moving different states. And mm-hmm. so I was always having to make new friends and like, you know, brand new school, which seems, you know, in theory kind of cool. Like, oh, brand new school next year. But it, it kind of wasn't. Right. But it was always yeah. challenging. So 
I mean, I always kind of relied on trying to be funny at first, and then, and then it was just kind of like music was the thing that never left me. It never like I never had to say goodbye to it. Yeah, you know, yeah. it was it was it was a thing that always kind of helped me. It you know it it got me through like you know being in high school when I was you know getting picked on or getting called names. It's like I could always turn to like heavy metal <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, like, right. punk, nice. or punk rock. You know, yep. like just music. Yeah, you know, it's always, it's always an escape, and it still is. You know, yeah. I'm 43, and I still get that escape, that that safety, you know, from yeah. it. So it's it's beautiful that I have it in my life still. Yeah, that's awesome. Do you want to ask him ask him your 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 number one question? Yeah, there? <laughs> yeah. So, um, how did you end up like playing music professionally? So, I mean, like, because it's something that we've all kind of. Uh, been trying to do to some some degree at least, but right. Like, did did well, you honest, have a regular job before? Or uh, I did. I mean, I, I, it was kind of like a thing, you know. Like, I, I think I set up a set apart that passion. Really, I really amplified it. Like in high school, when I had my first band and we played a show. Like, you know, we played at, at our school in Thousand Oaks. We played there. We played this other like bar, and it was like that. That every time it was like, dude, I have to do this some fucking way somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, and I. So, you know, getting out of high school, I, I actually was going to go to MI, Musicians Institute oh, in Hollywood. Yeah. I, I like, me and my friend Jeff wanted to go do that. And then it was just kind of like, dude, we should do that. And then it never happened. And then, you know, like you just, I, I got a job at Toys R Us. And I was working at Toys R Us. <laughs> okay. And just, you know, I was jamming with my friend when, when I could. But um, it was always there. I was always trying to get it. But um, when I got in this band, it was like, I mean, I was pretty much doing other jobs and trying to play gigs on the weekend with a band but um when strung out came along it was interesting because strung out was it was a local band from the town over that got signed you know even though back you know when you're younger like oh like so and so got signed like you know mm-hmm. you yeah. all knew about it you know yeah, like it's a big deal. yeah it's a big deal yeah back then back in like 1993 it was like fuck you got signed and like <laughs> yeah. oh my god they're going on tour like it was yeah. like holy shit you like you hit the lottery but um you know like it was like that band strung out and like incubus were the two bands that we knew of in, in our in our towns that were like the ones that got signed yeah. and it was like so we were like it, it was i was always like you know like i admired that and i respected it and then i moved to simi valley the next town over eventually became friends of the guys and my best friend from high school tyler he got in that band pulley i don't know if you guys know pulley oh, yeah pulley. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah he got in no pulley shit. and then yeah so it was like yeah, it was jim chair the old bass player strung out that's their old band and um, huh. with Scott Radinsky, the famous baseball co- uh, pitcher, he's, he's actually now a coach now. Um, but <laughs> oh, uh, that's pretty wild. But yeah, it was, it's pretty wild. Like it all happened, and then um, Tyler got in pulley. Then it was probably like three years later, um, an opportunity came up with Strung Out, and it, but they're looking for a bass player, and I'm a guitar player, so it was kind of like, whoa, really? But I was like, dude, this band's like my favorite band, and mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I I'll like I'll fucking play flute to be in your fucking band, like fuck, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. Like, who, whose dick do I gotta suck? I'll yeah, do it. Like, say, hey, skin it, right? flute. Like, yeah. Hey. yeah, skin flute. I'll do it. Yeah. So it was just kind of interesting That's how cool. it journeyed into that, into be like bass. Like, but I'm not this. It's like, yeah. well, maybe you're just a musician and you should learn how to play another exactly. instrument right. and, and adapt. You know, it's like life. It's always, you, you want to persevere and be passionate about something. But if there's roadblocks or there's left turns or right turns, you got to make them. And, and just kind of try to navigate. So you're as long as you're still on the road, you're still moving forward. Even though you got to make a left or make a right, just keep going forward. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's legit. And it, and it, Do you? And it, it definitely took me. To, you know, twenty years later, I'm. Do, it, it's. Yeah, I'm sitting in a coffee shop in Jacksonville doing an interview. But, you know, like, it, yeah. it paid off. It, yeah. it definitely yeah. worked out, I guess. You're on the, the number one podcast made in my basement <laughs> on the entire internet. <laughs> yeah. so and, you, and it is it is truly an honor. Yes, yes thank you. Us us too. Yeah. Do you think like the when you uh, play your bass playing has made you a better guitar player? Because I like I I started on guitar and then switched to bass and then I've kind of stuck with it because each time I've been playing bass, I'm playing with better guitar players. But I feel my fingers are stronger now. Yeah. Oh bass. yeah. Dude, definitely, man. Yeah, I mean, you know how that is. Like, definitely, like when I first got in this band, I was learning all the songs on bass. Yeah, it was like, whoa, this shit's different. You know, like, okay, yeah. thicker pick, and then it was definitely a workout. And I definitely was, you know, uh, I definitely put the work in. Like that first month, I was doing like seven hours a day. I'd come home in the afternoon and play for four hours, take a dinner break yeah. for thirty minutes, and kept playing. I prayed pretty much every afternoon until my mom or dad would knock on my door and go, turn the fucking music off, you know, like <laughs> at like 10, 10, 30 at night, like we have to work. And I would do that every day for a month. And like that, like stride I had yeah. for a month was gnarly how much better it got. But uh, in, in, that was just the beginning. But like over the years, like, yeah, what it made me as a guitar player, as a musician, just made me like, 
I think with anything, you just, it, it gave me distance from my guitar into another instrument. But when I came back to guitar, I've always had guitar, but like it made me just kind of approach songwriting uh, mm-hmm. as a songwriter. Instead of just being, I'm going to shred, I'm going to do a rad riff. It's like, I want to write a good song. Right. You know, like yeah. I, I just want to write a good song. And I, I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for melody. Like, I'm like, you got you to have a good melody to hook me. I don't care what band you are. You have a good melody, you have a good fucking melody. Right. You know, like yeah. if it's Justin Bieber or fucking. Spice Girls or fucking, you know, Parkway Drive or Strong Out, whatever it is, like, just give me a good melody and I'm into it, you know, like. Yeah. So are you, um, do you guys all write together or has it changed over the years or is there like a couple key members that write most of the stuff or how? I, what, what? I think it, it, it's, 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 it's more, it's evolved more of the years. I think um, when I got in the band and when I got more comfortable to really push my ideas out, you know, the first year I was like tripping, I was in Strong Out. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, I joined my favorite fucking band. Like, Whose dick did I really suck? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. They made a movie I? about this. Isn't that that Mark Wahlberg movie? Um, yeah, exactly. A boogie nights. <laughs> Rockstar. Yeah, it's like Rockstar. Rockstar. Oh, no, Rockstar. Yeah, oh, Rockstar. yeah Rockstar. not Rockstar. not I'm the I'm real dick sucking movie. The, <laughs> yeah. the one yeah. about music. I thought of Boogie Nights immediately as well. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Rockstar. See, you, you see where my mind went with that? I'm like, yeah. dick sucking? Wait, what? Suck is that movie was about? Yeah, 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 dude. Total Rockstar. Like, yeah, joining. You know that band. You know, like he, he joins his favorite band. He's a singer, and then he's like, "Holy shit!" And then after, you know, with this band, I I really wanted to put my mark on it because I remember hearing their, their second record, Suburban Teenage yeah. Wasteland Blues. I remember hearing that record and going, "Wow, dude, this is so different from their first record." But like, it's like this is like sounds like 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 a different band. But I was like, "This is the shit I'm playing." Like, mm-hmm. and that's where I was like, kind of like back then too. I was like, I- "I'm going to be in this band." I remember saying it out loud. I'm like, "I'm going to be in this band one day." And then yeah. it, it was like three years later. All of a sudden. The offer came and I was like, "Hey, you want to play bass?" And I was like, "Whoa!" But um, yes, I do. Yeah. What it, what it did, yeah. So I mean, I kind of like was just being, um, just kind of like uh, being observant, you know, that first year and just kind of tripping out too and going, "Oh my god!" But when the first record came, I had like some ideas, but I didn't. I wasn't really pushing until the next record. And then the next record, I just kind of like here's like a bunch of songs, and it was just kind of like, "Yeah, rad." And then, um, yeah, I think we all um, evolved as we. Me, Jake, and Rob, I mean, the whole band, we all, you know, respect each other as musicians, as artists, but like, you know, the, the three main songwriters for music are me, Jake, and Rob. Mm-hmm. The, we're the ones always bringing in a riff, and Jason's bringing in riffs now, too. Jason's writing great songs now, too. He wrote Black Out the Sky, that song, and oh, wow. he wrote, like, he wrote uh, Anna Lee. That was, like, his idea, you know, on, on that record, and he has cool, like, he has great ideas, and he's become, he's become an even better musician himself, just him playing guitar the last, like, 20 years I've been in the band like he already had his own band the how he, he's very accomplished and uh I can see how much better it made him but with our three string players like I really see how we we kind of like have this like respect for each other and we we push each other you mm-hmm. know um yeah. but uh it's interesting to see the writing process where I've seen it evolve too like even the last few years I try to be I try to challenge more other guys where I go, okay, I could write the rest of this song. I figure like at home, but instead I'm going to bring it to practice and see what Jake and Rob would do on the chorus. Cause I have an idea for the chorus, but I'm not going to give it to them. I'm going to like see what kind of like organicness can kind of come. If any, you know, I, I, so I try to do like little things to kind of like spark it. Um, Cause you do sometimes that, that's like magic right there. When you see shit that just happens. Yeah, like, when shit happens when, like that, yeah. that's the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, it is. You know exactly. Like a song gets written in twenty minutes, or like yeah. a song gets written takes two years. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, and why? Why or, is that? We I still haven't figured that out. I don't think any of us have. But like, yeah. why is it? Sometimes it takes twenty minutes, and it just clicks, and everybody knows. And then sometimes you really got to slog it out and make it work. I mean, they both wind up being great songs. But why? Why is one twenty it, minutes and one two it, years? I know. Yeah, totally. I mean, it's interesting because you know you'll, you'll have a riff. You'll have like I have a riff. I was like twenty years old. I finally got to use in a song like a part of it. I was like, yes, like. <laughs> I've always wanted to use this riff, you know, but um, it, it, sometimes, yeah, when you're, I, what my experience with writing is like um, being a part of it. It's like you, it, it is like a train that you hop on sometimes. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the train's not going anywhere and it's not even at your station, but sometimes you hop on the train and it starts going. You're like, Oh shit. Like, hold on. It's, it's going somewhere. And you just got to ride <laughs> hold it out. On to your yeah. Hand. yeah. Or there's sometimes, you know, you'll get, you'll get to like the next stop. You're like, okay, what's the course? You're like, I don't know. And like, no one can get it. And you're like, yeah. And they keep beating like the dead horse. Like, dude, let's just come back to it. Like, don't don't overkill it, you know, like right now. Um, but it's weird. Sometimes you, you write it like that. And sometimes it takes you fucking like nine months mm-hmm. to come up with something. But I, tr- I tried. I, my approach, I feel like it gets when you get too analytical and you, you leave like that kind of like that improvisation part of it. Um, mm-hmm. That's when you kind of lose that like that drive on it. at least for me. Like I'm learning because I try to like write more of that spiritual kind of way of like I'm just going to jam and see what comes up. 
I'm not yeah. sure. I'll, I'll have a riff that I have, like a cool riff, but I want to like expand upon. But lately, I've been more about like jamming and just like let's do the jam. Yeah, you know, just like that's more fun. Up. I think yeah. that's mostly how we write, isn't that right, Doug? Like uh, yeah. it starts with I, you. I think with this album, it's been yeah. We you know I'll come in with some riffs or whatever, and maybe a couple parts, and be like, all right, now, now what? what? Yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> or right. let's, let's play then, it up to that point and see where it goes. Yeah, and then you just yeah, it out. exactly. Yeah. And that, that's actually a great thing you said too. Play to that point, like that start start the song over instead of starting from the chorus where you're like, what's the bridge? Like start over again, come back fresh, and kind of see just yeah. where it, you where you accidentally kind of go. Yeah, yeah. See where yeah. you you know because mm -hmm. really I, I feel like th there's no accidents in music. There's there's right. no mistakes. They're they're all discoveries. You know, it's like oh yeah. like right. oh because you're really you're really like one half note away, or if, right. if anything, from like the right note. You yeah. know, but. Uh, that's fucking crazy. That's exactly what I was just going to say is like, we've talked about this with other people is like yeah. how like songs kind of just exist out there and we're like sculptors chipping away the bullshit to get to like the actual shit yeah. it's in the stone. That was, that was a lot of, of uh, Andrew WK. Andrew WK. Yeah. yeah when we talked to him, yeah, he was yeah. like way into that stuff. Mm. So that, that's crazy. Absolutely. So we're all sharing this mega mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fuck well, yeah. Dude, and that's funny too. Like with music, I've learned too, like, uh, with like with our band and like I think all musicians it's like once you, you you have like your song and then you bring it to like the guys in the band you guys jam and it comes your song like the band song and then really once you release it it's kind of like you have to like let it go it's like it's yeah. not your song anymore yeah and literally like in a metaphorical sense you have to let it go like as far as being uh, critiqued mm -hmm. and you just gotta like let it go let it go it's not your song anymore it's the world song right. you know it's the yeah. universal song and they like it cool if they don't like it cool. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm already writing the next song. Right. Yeah, I'm like right. I'm not going to be sucked into critics or like negativity. I go I, I just love that I get to fucking play music, man. Like right. this is, it's insane. Like I just, I can still do this. Like right. Andy all chocolate these cookies, years, chocolate chip yeah. cookies and coffee. Oh yeah. dude, oh Fancy dude, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, like I I I, I literally I'm back to Toys R Us. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm fucking. I, I, I get You're to eat cookie cookies for dinner. <laughs> fucking yeah, go to bed yeah. at four a.m. Like. I do, what I, I do what I want. Yeah. I do what I want. Yeah. I take care of my kids. Yeah, you took the slogan to heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Literally. That's yeah, I had no <laughs> idea, but I was, yeah. Did yeah. you have a question? Yeah, well, what, okay, so since coming from guitar and playing bass in the band, do you have an instrument of choice when creating songs or? Yeah, it, it's definitely a guitar. Like for okay. me, it's honestly, it's acoustic guitar. It's acoustic guitar. That's where I write oh, 85, 90% okay. of the songs I write okay. are always on that sitting on the couch hmm. i mean yeah there's some definitely like plugging in mm -hmm. um more so with my my newer band giants of rome where i play guitar and sing in that band mm -hmm. that's a, that's a really good like jam band where those guys are like the, the musicians in that band are fucking stellar like i got jesse from hoobastank on bass oh, wow. and and sean winchester uh sean's from the band uh, he was in everclear and he oh, plays with buck cherry right now but both right. those guys went to school in boston one went to berkeley Huh. The other one went to the Boston Conservatory School yeah. of Music. So real musicians yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, those guys are like the gnarly deal. Right? I, I get intimidated, but yeah. they're so cool, and we have such a good vibe that we write fucking awesome. So I'll bring in a riff, and then I, I let those guys take it somewhere. We always take it somewhere fucking cool, man. It, it's, it's such a trip. That band's such a trip to me. Like, I love it. And then I got recently, like the last year, I got Sergi from Sam I Am on oh, guitar. Cool. So he's playing with us now, too. So it's like, Jesus, that's a that's super like, group. Yeah, what, yeah. what the fuck? Dude, <laughs> yeah. So they had pretty much, awesome. yeah. So I'm, I'm always yeah. like trying to be like, it's not like, it's not a super group. It's, it's a band, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is like kind of like that. It's like all these guys, some other bands, but that's I can't awesome. really escape it. it. It is what it is, you know, but. Uh, right. Are, uh, you, are you guys playing Riot Fest this year? Did I see you guys on the bill? Am I uh, something up? Not that I know of, but okay. I would love to. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. All right. Yeah. I got one more writing question. So, okay. So, in that band where everybody has uh, diplomas and things like that, <laughs> yeah. do you find that you are utilizing maybe music theory more so with with your writing process, or are you still just kind of whatever works works for the song? Uh, I try to. Uh, well, I've, I've been getting back into that, like learning theory. Uh, with MI, like doing MI online classes and stuff, just to kind of oh, get again, because I'm around those guys, I'm around Jesse and Sean, and they're just so they're so gifted on that. And they just go, oh yeah, it's this. And I go, oh fuck it, of course you know that. I don't, you know, but like, <laughs> yeah. but I think there's a certain there's a certain edge of like of like the street, like the Sergi and Chris street street smart, and then right. like the Sean and Jesse fucking book smart, you know. Right. Um, right. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think I definitely come in loose and just kind of like not thinking about it, and then I see what Jesse takes it or Sergi does, and then I kind of like, 
and then I'll kind of get maybe I might go, hey, so like, what key is this? <laughs> he goes, oh, it's right. this. You know, I go, okay, oh yeah, like, oh yeah. Or I'll yeah. try to be funny. I'll try to be smart. Yeah, what is this? Uh, C sharp major? He's like, uh, no, dude, it's, it's A flat. Just shut up. But like, okay, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I was like, hey, you're you're way off. And I'm like, oh yeah, never mind. But uh, but yeah, I try to um again with that band. It, 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 that band is such a unique like organicness of writing songs. It's the best improv band ever that I've had. Where we can just jam and write songs, and it's fucking so much fun. And again, the key thing is that I feel like I'm a kid in that band. I, all awesome. of us feel like we're 16. When we jam that band, we're so like, uh, it has such a uh, capriciousness about it. Like, when we jam, like, dude, I feel like we're like first band, like having that, that kind of fun element. So I really, I really uh, honor that more than anything, uh, besides the writing process of like, yeah, getting analytical sometimes, but I always try to go, hey, let's make this band. We all talk. We all talk to each other. We have an issue. Everyone talk. And let's fucking ultimate goal number one. Let's not write good songs. Let's fucking have fun. That's let's awesome. fucking yeah. have fun over anything. So I make yeah. that a point because I've been in this band for 20 years and I've seen other bands. My other friend that quit his other band. That guy quit that band. And, you know, mm-hmm. we see it all the time. It's hard. Right. You know, yeah. being in a band is hard. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a hard fucking relationship. But uh, it's worth it when you have your hour outlet a night or a day to fucking let loose on stage. It's totally worth it, but it's challenging. But I, I want to really make this new thing about fun. Just get, let's get back to basics. What's the basic thing? Why did I start playing guitar? Why did you guys start playing right. your instruments? Because it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. We loved it. Yeah. You know? We always come yeah, back yeah. to that. When mm-hmm. we get frustrated here, we're like, why? if it's not fun, let's not do it. So right. let's, let's shift. Right. Let's pivot. Yeah. Let's yeah. pivot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I, I exactly. Really, there's that pivot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been using a lot of like uh, uh, buzzwords, business buzz, buzzwords yeah. lately. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> We all, well, we all kind of have corporate jobs, so yeah. we have to regular asshole yeah, jobs yeah. is what we call them. We've we <laughs> learned the uh, the bullshit corporate lingo yeah, right. <laughs> that exists. No, right. Well, you have to. You know, it's it's part of like adapt and survive, you know, kind of thing. I mean, I had to do it too before yeah. I got strung out. I was working at a health health insurance company called Prudential, working there, and then I finally got this gig. But I was like, I'll do anything to fucking do this. Like, I just kept. <laughs> I kept my eye on the prize. I was, That's right. Uh, yeah. You know, You're a prize that, fighter. You're yeah, a killer prize, rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, I'm rocking. I was exactly. Yeah, I'm rocking. Yeah. So I was exactly. I was doing that. Like, uh, I kept, I kept, you know, I knew somewhere and I believed in it and mm-hmm. I still believe in it. I still believe in all these, these aspects of my life where I'm pushing towards something. It, they call it grit. Like right. you have that yeah, grit yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. to yeah. push towards something. I still, I noticed I had it back then and I still have it and I'm pushing towards something like these few goals I have right now. And it's still to, to keep honestly, I'm str- I'm striving more for freedom than materialism. Is right. what I keep learning. Yeah, right. And uh, I mean, music's give me freedom. It's like freedom to do exactly what I want to do. I'm um, dude, like honestly, when I come home from tour, like I mean, I, I might work on this TV show here and there, but honestly, I, I come home and do what I want. I I can have those that two months off where I can make it work. I mean, I'm not a millionaire, but I make it enough where I come home and go. Right. Cool, I'm just, I'm just gonna go to the beach today. Cool. Right. Like that's yeah, what I'm yeah. doing. You know, like it's you awesome. Don't have, you don't have to worry about. <laughs> Yeah, like where your next meal is coming from, right, anywhere yeah. or anything. Yeah, it'll be a bologna yeah, sandwich from uh, from the club later on. In, yeah, later it, on it, it will be. It'll be the it'll be the cookies from down yeah. the street. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I mean, you guys have had like something like what twenty albums or something. You guys have written a shitload of albums. So um, right, w- like t- these days, it seems like uh, we've reverted back to singles being king. Do you do, yeah. you, do you find that, like that is in your experience that's that's what's happening across the board with music is singles uh, ruling and, and albums are kind of like dwindling again or what's your take on it? it? Well, it's interesting. It is a great question because what the music industry is now like. I mean, I mean, what a crazy uh, r- r- ride we've been on the last you know t- almost twenty years. I mean, you know when Napster came around when, and Metallica took Napster to court, mm-hmm. everyone yeah. is so like fuck. Fuck Metallica, the greedy bastards. Like, no, no, Metallica is sticking up for us. They're just sticking up for the music industry. They saw it's going to collapse. What right. it's doing now. I mean, there's great. There's things like iTunes, and I can my song is accessible in in Sao Paulo in like a small village. You can get my song. That's great. But um, what it's done, it, it's just such a different beast. Like you had to like you had you had so much more strategy involved. There's always been a strategy, in, in regardless. Mm-hmm. But now it's so much more like. Yeah, like, are we doing just a single, or should we just do an EP? Because it's like four songs, just plenty. Because right, right. people's people's attention span are fucking nothing. We look at someone. I mean, look at people like that are in a movie theater, and the movie starts, and they're pulling the phone out every fucking ten minutes, to look at the phone to see if they right. missed something. It's like the attention span is ridiculous, you know. So like, sure, it's like that with music. Like people, if you don't grab them in the first twenty seconds, 
then what do you got? And so, yeah, it's like, do we put out a fucking 14 song album or do we still like do right. a five song EP and then do another five song EP? Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. or just yeah. concentrate on the single. You know? Yeah, and that's that's where our latest pivot has come from. We <laughs> yeah, were we, we started this whole that. project where it's like we're going to write and record our album and drag people along with us through the podcast. So, but then we've we've decided now maybe it's too much of a cock tease for them to wait for the album. So now we're pivoting to doing singles instead. So we're going to be writing and do a rapid release schedule where like come with us as we make funny noises in the microphone and write the shit and it sounds horrible till we get to the finished product and release it in the world in its beautiful form. Right. But dude, but that, that's awesome. That's a great like showing the real like innards of the process of like this is how it is from conception, you know, right. to end like to yeah. the sculpting from like here's this crazy rock that all of a sudden is chiseled out to this statue, you right. know, whatever it is like and that, that's kind of like, well, I'm not to keep bringing up Metallica, but like, look at Metallica's that's uh, some kind of monster right. documentary. Yeah, like, yeah, how brave cool was shit. how brave was that for them to do that yeah. to show like the, them fighting and like them him leaving, going to rehab for a year and a half, and going, yeah. "Fuck, we're done." A bass player just quit, like, you know, or and what you guys are doing too, like, that's even cooler because it's really like the dynamic of like, you know, the most important thing is like, how does a song get done? You know, like, well, yeah. there's a lot to it. And there's, there's chemistry, there's people, you have to meet people. Mm -hmm. You have to be social and meet the right person be at the right place at the right time. You also got to fucking practice. You yeah. also got to put your fucking, your love into your art. Right. But showing that process of writing a song like that, I think it's genius what you guys are doing. Like, oh, yeah, man, like thank you. just writing like that, it's, it's a really cool uh, idea. And I'm actually just going to steal it right now and write the next <laughs> yeah. record like that. Gracias. Do that. Like, it's yours. It's yeah, go for it. Like, That's fine. Like, oh, but, I had this one idea one day. I was in a coffee shop. I was, I was high as shit on cookies, and I just brought a fucking I was idea high on cookies. Like, but I am. I was totally talking to anybody. I'm totally yeah. gonna take the, yeah. the sound bite of him saying, "Oh, I think you guys are genius," and that's gonna. I'm gonna put that at the beginning of every episode. <laughs> yeah. <now>. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice. We need that stroke to the ego, man. Yeah. Oh, so, we do. No, honestly, we we all do. Like, we all need yeah. that validation. Yeah. We all need yeah. that little that little nudge. It's like, hey, yeah, keep going. You're doing the right thing because it gets hard, man. Right. Yeah. We, we, you know, we're we are ultimately your your worst and best critic when it comes down to him. I and who's going to make you stop? Ultimately, is you. Right. Is going to yeah. always make you stop. But um, who's always going to always push you is you. And sometimes you you need a friend to push you, like right. your your girlfriend, your wife. You get yeah. closing. And um, you getting you, kicked you need out? That, you, you, yeah, I'm getting. But you, you, you guys, you, you need that nudge sometimes to kind of go. Yeah, we are doing the right thing, or like, yeah, yeah, because I do. It's. There's a lot of, fe you know, it, it's so gnarly being in a, in a band, like what you write, it's like your career is based on people's opinions, right. you know, yeah, absolutely. you're based, you're just basing it off that, like, oh, I hope you like it. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't buy cookies. Yeah. Like, yeah. God, I'm fucked. <laughs> so you, you kind of like, exactly. it, but it's weird because you have to do that, but you also kind of like got to let go. So right. it's a weird, like catch 22 to it. But, um, but yeah, yeah, I think your idea, what you're doing is really cool. And uh, I think you should keep going with that. Fuck yeah, Thanks. man! Cool. Yeah, well, yeah. thank you for your blessing, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. Well, let me ask. Let me ask you the most important question of the evening. If you can only pick one, you can only pick one. Are you? Gonna, right. You're on a desert island. Is it going to be Iron Maiden or Judas Priest? Iron Maiden. Fuck yes! <laughs> no yeah, hesitation. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. No, because no, guess where I ate at? Guess where I had dinner two nights ago? Where? Rock and Roll Ribs, dude, Fort Lauderdale. Fuck yeah, Nico was Nico, Nico there? McBrain, he was not there, but wow. I wish he was. Oh, <laughs> but I, I ate fucking so much garbage that night. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, good food, but I was like, yeah. oh my God, I oh, can't yeah. eat barbecue for like a week. But uh, yeah, it was awesome. Nico McBrain's Rock and Roll oh, Ribs. Oh, That's, awesome. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. killer. Yeah, yeah. I think are they? They're probably on tour right now. I'm, they're always fucking. Pro on tour, yeah, probably. Right I'm sure they're <laughs> playing yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Jimmy's got a. Yeah, I, yeah. I think they're on tour right now, actually. Yeah. That's amazing. But wait, you guys, yeah. you, you 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 guys played with Metallica once, right? Is that right? Yeah, we did. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. We did a show. Um, you want these right here? Is this okay? Yeah, it's fine, bro. Thank you. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, man. Have a seat. Yeah, we we did. Yeah, we we did a um. We did a show. It's called Soundwave. It's a big festival. Oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. in England. Uh, I'm not. I'm sorry. Not Soundwave. Uh, Download. Download. Download Festival. Yeah, Festival. yeah, yeah. And we we did that, and um, they were the surprise guests. Oh wow. On <laughs> yeah, we're on tour with No Effects, Voice of Fire. We were sharing <laughs> yeah. a bus with Thrice. It was like Thrice's first time in Europe, oh, wow. and they're on a bus with us. And it's like, T.S. Dewell was out with us too. All, we're doing this festival called Deconstruction that we were doing together that no effects is headlining and we had a show where our festival was meeting up in england to do one day at download 
And the day we're doing, it was like, I think like Marilyn Manson and like Audio Slaver headlining on the main stage, Swan, different stuff. But like yeah. on our stage, in our, in our tent, we had, a, we had a tent that day for all our bands, but there was a, to be announced at 315, mm -hmm. which the night before, I remember fucking like either Riley or Ed from Thrice were like, dude, like I just heard from our management, I think Metallica's playing tomorrow. Like we heard that Metallica's like the surprise <laughs> guest. We're like, what? So we like pulled out our, 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 our tour books. And we no, we're, we've had these tour books a lot. The last three weeks, we've had these books. We never like really look at them. You like look, you look at the schedule, and it's like, oh my god, three fifteen to three forty five TBA to be announced. We're like, holy shit, is that is it real? Like maybe. <laughs> so we're all of us. So that's spread throughout the whole camp. And then the next day, we show up. You know, we, we wake up and we're there. We're, we're at the festival. We wake up. You know, everyone wakes up early. They're like, fuck yeah, let's go see. Then I'm gonna waking up and walking out and running into like. Someone they'll like, dude, it's fucking real. All their gears here. We're like, no fucking way. Like, no way. That's like, amazing. yeah, and they played on they played on our fucking stage. That's it was so fucking great. rad. See, yeah, that's it was, it was, amazing it was too, so like, punk rock. Yeah. You, you guys are like, you know, like all those bands are fucking uh, amazing and like legends in their own right. And you all, guys yeah. are all like fucking kids in a candy store because fucking Metallica's there. Oh, yeah. Because of oh, course, yeah, yeah. it's we, fucking right. Metallica. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, me me and Jake went straight to the fucking pit. We were like in the pit because they, they closed off the tent. Because oh, the, the word the word started getting out. Everyone's like, holy shit, Metallica's playing here. So the word got out. And then w <laughs> when they rolled their cabinets out, like after the last yeah. bit, I think like Boy Sits Fire played. And then yeah. they got off stage. And all of a sudden, they Metallica rolled out all their shit. And they, all of a sudden, the place went nuts. Oh, They're like, yeah. oh, my God. And then like they closed the tent off at, at like 10,000 people. So it's just only 10,000 people in the tent. Oh, Where normally shit. that festival holds like – that festival is like 80,000 people. But right. they only allowed yeah. 10,000 in the tent. So we're like, I'm going to the fucking pits. We went to the pit and we had our video camera. We we're like filming it. We filmed it too. Like we're in the pit filming. Uh -oh. Oh, bootleg. Awesome. Right. You got yeah, that it's, bootleg. It's actually yeah. rad. Yeah, and they're they're awesome. They came on. They opened up with Black and they came on and just killed it for like half an hour. I was like, dude, Metallic is fucking awesome. Fuck yeah, I love you. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's amazing, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Wow. Shit, yeah. Well, man, I, I wish we could just talk to you all all damn night, Chris. But so maybe we'll have to do a, a do over at some other point. But uh, uh, absolutely, I'd love to, man. This this is really fun. It's really fun, yeah, and good. thank you. And please yeah. steal our idea if you want. I'm sure you'll do a yeah. better job because yeah. we have no uh, fucking oh, yeah. clue. <laughs> yeah, w watch out. <laughs> here, here I come. Here yeah. comes the great idea. <laughs> hey guys, I got this great idea today. Hey, holy yeah. shit, I'm super original. <laughs> Guess what I thought of today? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, um, thanks, and we'll we'll send you the. Uh, Pictures of our wieners, like uh, I'm sure. Yeah, honest, absolutely, yeah. whatever you, whatever you need, whatever you need, <laughs> uh, 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 all that, yes, yeah. all that, yeah. and uh, and hey, more. Yes. Hey, can we get you to do like a, a funny little radio bumper, like, "Hey, this is Chris Lagan from Strug Out. You're listening to Idiots with Instruments." <laughs> of course. Like all right. <laughs> Anytime you're ready, sir. Okay. Hey, what up, guys? This is Chris Aiken from the band Strung Out, and you're listening to Idiots with Fucking Instruments. <laughs> Shit, am I supposed to say that right? Wait, fuck. <laughs> That'll work. That's okay. perfect. Mark it. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That's you guys are awesome, dude. Dude, thanks so much for having me. That was fun. And yeah, hit me up. Hit me up anytime. All right. Yeah, cool. Talk absolutely. to you later. Awesome, in the radio. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 Wow, he was super nice. Yeah. yeah right. That's what we always yeah. say. I, well, um, <laughs> wow, he was, yeah, nice. he was super nice. Super nice. Yeah, it was a fun time. Yeah, that was uh, a fun time. I, I'll have to ask him, but um, we should ask him where, where, if anywhere, he wants to be hit up. Oh, on um, which medium? On the online. Yeah, on the online. I'm nots. curious uh, how. So, like, I looked up giants with giants of Rome. Yeah. Um, and I could only find them on YouTube. Okay. So I don't know if that's the only medium that they're yeah. currently through, or if they're well you, doing you, stuff. You probably should have shouted your way into the convo to ask that's, that. That's all right. But we can you do were, that next you were time. Already, you were already shutting it down. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'll let it slide. Next well, time. Yeah, well, we got we got jamming yeah, to do, and time. if and if we don't we get do. Dougie to pick up his guitar, he will freeze to death. That's true. So, so we want to do some 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 jamma mm -hmm. jam I ams. I'm so cold right now. <laughs> You're such a pussy, <laughs> dude. It's so Why? Cold. It's like always. And we could do a dosi do. According to the uh, what, uh, the, the, the thermometer thermometer yeah. on the wall. Yeah, yeah. We're we're sitting at a uh, a comfy uh, like sixty. Is that 62 and a half? Really? Maybe? It doesn't seem that cool. I like because I'm I'm over here a little warm. Maybe 64. Okay. Well, 64 degrees. I'm it's 64 blooded. degrees in here. Folks. I'm hot blooded Wait, and fat. I'm fucking so. freezing. Yeah. 
and there's a yeah, it's because you don't have any fat on your there's entire yeah, body. There's a fucking fan right above me. <laughs> that that is a thing. Well. Like I should be under the fucking. You fan. should be. For, but yeah, I, I gotta be, be here to fucking run this shit. We, that's, well, that's why I was saying we got modular, our, right? We have to move this you could, room around. I you mean, could move that. We could do see. You could move that laptop. Literally what we need wherever. to do is build it's me a, a sauna in here in the <laughs> closet. <laughs> well, we gave you a sweater, but I, it, it's sleeveless. It's sleeveless. So maybe we should work on. Yeah. Well, and and I'd also like to know. Yeah. Where. Where's my fucking pockets? Oh, that's right. Fuck, I was supposed to make them pockets. <laughs> yeah. All right. When you get done with the fucking toilet, <laughs> yeah. fix my sweater. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just sew fucking <laughs> sleeves on it, too. It will just give you layers. How Look. many times do you get to say that? When you're done fixing the fucking <laughs> toilet, fix my sweat. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's something that you can say whenever. <laughs> yeah. That might be a song title. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't have to be Yeah, accurate. write it down. <laughs> Write it down. All right, so we want to try playing right, this, this new song. Yeah. That's what we call noodling in the biz, kids. Yeah, I wonder if anyone would ever want to get a lesson from us. Yeah. That's... I mean, I could teach life lessons all day. Yeah. yeah. Don't eat yellow snow. Yeah, do not come inside her. <laughs> yeah. Oh! It's always on or around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you haven't said anything in a probes lately, so we were due. Me? <laughs> no. Oh, guy. I, yeah, yeah. Um, was I going to say something? You were going to say Zibizow. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. It must not have been important. I feel like I feel like we have a pretty good outline for this song now. Yeah, right? I with just the arrangement and I think everything. Um, it's a pretty good song. Do you think for the verses, mm -hmm. what I was doing is yes. okay? Yeah, yes. the or should I do it? Or should I do it more strummy? I liked the uh, arpeggios. How would you play it strummy. Okay. What do you mean by strummy? Strummy would be like um, here. Play with me. Just ready. <laughs> See, I like the arpeggiating yeah. and picking because it's different. We don't have anything. Yeah. Like I think that's neat. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. okay. Is that what you're doing? Because I want to match you at the end. Uh. Oh, it's a fifth. Yeah, yeah, it's a G. G. Word. All right, let's do it. Okie do. All right.
All right, so when are you switching just the last four? You're switching to just doing the bam, 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 when he starts going... When up. he does a double time. All right, and then the thun thun thuns are Gs, right? They're A's. Fuck! That's why it sounded weird. Yeah. Okay, let's play it again. Did you send him a bitmoji? I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> now send him a picture of your dong. <laughs> so... So what what do you think of the well if I play the bass listen to the bass this time okay let me know if it sucks I'm trying to keep it single so I can sing over it but now, during the thrashy bit, mm-hmm. what do you think is screaming there? Or would that be too weird? Mm-hmm. Screaming? Yeah. Like some kind of sick of it all type screaming. <laughs> hmm. No? I don't know. Something staccato, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. uh. Right? Yeah. Or callbacks. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. Meow meow meow. Maybe we could do a dumb out, dun out, bow meow, meow meow. Like maybe the where the the vocals are the callback to the guitar riff. Like you're going dun out. Yeah yeah. Dun out. Yeah yeah. That'd be cool. All right, let's try it. Be cool. Uh, no, right. what are you playing for the verses? What are you gonna? What are you thinking in the, the verses? The verses. Wait. When you're doing the cowboy yeah. shit, yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, sometimes I just got I gotta remember to hit the A. I always wanna jump to that I wanna jump to that C real quick. I'm always going after the C when I need to spend more time on the A. Oh, oh. Order up. Order, Order up. up. Yeah. First you, <laughs> first one. First you gotta work the A before, before you, you get go to, to the C. C. Oh. Order up. Oh. I think it's the other way around. Shut up. That's the way we do it. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Remember the circle of force. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then the A's are the shun shun shuns. Do you think the intro? I should just play the, I mean the chorus riff, right? I mean just play yeah. the chorus, just play the it. The way like you it, just like played it written. is the right ways to okay. play okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's play it. Let's, Let's play, play this it. fucking thing.
right, it's getting closer. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Yeah. I like that the ending is different. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty change. cool. Yeah. I like it. We like it. Dougie, you did a good job. What do you like? The little different bit you did at the end there. Different bit. Where you doing? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. That shit. Yeah. So, so I texted Chris. Yeah. <laughs> and I asked him uh, if there was anything he wanted to plug. Oh, or shit. Where people should find him. Yeah. We forgot that. And he said, just strung out uh, or my personal Instagram slash Facebook slash Twitter, which is uh, at Chris Aiken Music. Spell it. So at C H R I S. A I K E N music. Do you know how to sp- spell music? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, ask for it by names, kids. Chris Aiken music. And when he's in town, he will teach you how to play the bass or the guitar or yeah. buy you coffee and cookies. I thought he said something <laughs> about a skin about flute. Yeah, he will <laughs> also play the skin flute. I, d- I don't know about all that stuff, but uh, I thought he's going to he teach will... them to play his, his skin flute. Oh, hey, oh, 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 hey. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, he yeah. Will, he will definitely uh, at least talk to you because he's really nice and super cool, dude. All right. So, yeah. all right. Now it's time. Um, I th- do we want to get a second opinion on this song? Oh. Right? Yeah. We've, we've never done that before. Yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, we could do that. Are we starting a new segment, Seconds with Vinny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> second yeah. Opinions with Vinny. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's tentatively, I think we'll call it something different every week because <laughs> for a while I was calling it Questions with Uncle Vinny, but now it's like Second Opinions <laughs> with Uncle Vinny. Well, I thought his, I thought his catch to, to this was that we couldn't talk about music. Less Than Jake. Less Than Jake. Less than Jake. The stuff that he was known, known for, for, he said. Oh. Yeah. So he's well, not do we known have a, for being do, a producer, <laughs> right? No, I don't think so. I don't. I don't know. Is it? Is is he? I don't know. That's a question we could ask him. Even. <laughs> I missed the first half of the interview. <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know. Well, we could be like, "Hey, uh, no. have you ever produced anybody before?" Yeah, and then hey, uh, do and you this, want to now? Yeah, and then right. just start playing. <laughs> Tell yeah. us what you think of this shit. Like when <laughs> when he starts talking, just cut him off. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. What's up? Hey, Hey, Uncle Vinny. Vinny. (laughs) What's happening? So uh, we got. I'm getting ready ready to go get Mexican food. So the question has to be quick, my friend. All right. Well, have you ever been a producer, Vinny? Have you ever produced anybody? Or is. All right, you rot to right now. Here we go. Get it. One.
So tell us what we're doing wrong. Uh, let's see. <laughs> if I if if I was saying to you this is the right thing and this is the wrong thing, right? Mm-hmm. I would think that uh, the one part. Boom, mm-hmm. It just would be half as. It would be twice as effective if it was done half the time. So because you keep on long. coming back to that root thing, but okay. and it's a cool part, but. That's kind of what we're I calling would, the chorus. So we're thinking like a yeah, so there'll be like a, a, a counter melody to that vocally, but we just haven't worked it quite. It, out it's yet. it's still it's still happening too much, I think, man. Like okay. I, I think uh, there's you know you can pound the chorus into the ground. That's cool, right? Mm-hmm. But that's what Katy Perry does. I mean, Metallica had good choruses, but they also had you know uh, a half a dozen to uh, eight different parts that came with it and. Each part was catchy and each part was cool. And as a young metalhead, I always went, yeah, man, like here's the, the, the intro and here was the meat of the song. But then there was this bitching like, you know, outro that happened as well. Or with Slayer, mm-hmm. where there's two different, you know, two different uh, guitar solos and then with two different guys. And, you know, you had this really cool, like sort of creepy intro that happened. And then you had this like, you know, nutty verse and nutty chorus. So I, I would add something like a else to uh, uh, a bridge, but maybe uh, I'm not calling it a bridge because bridge is mm. a bit too uh, 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 a pop structure, you know? Right, like, right, right, right. But I, I do think that you guys need a departure. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Yeah, because like the the part like when it comes back the third time, I think to that same riff, that's what we're doing like a guitar solo over is what we're thinking. Yeah, yeah. But maybe changing up the riff for that, or, or like just inverting it, it half as long, or half well, as long, or or, or even uh, to be honest with you, even what if it was even on drums, like all of a sudden the drums cut into like a half time. Everybody else was the same speed, and mm. it just like made that part grind a little bit more you know yeah yeah uh, yeah kind of like, like the hardcore you know, those part, those part, yeah i mean those but it would be musically the same thing it just that when the drums just like kind of kicked in a halftime thing to it it just would have a different, different feel, feel just because yeah. it's hmm. it, it just for me yeah. i think that that medical metal music had great ideas and that was sometimes when it was uh the same part musically uh, the drums would be doing something completely different and made a different feel to it. Hardcore did the same thing. All of a sudden, it was yeah. on a, you were riding on the floor, Tom, and you right. had this really cool rumble to it. And then other times, you'd be on the hi hat or the ride cymbal. And it, two musically the same part, but just because you were just kind of mixing it up on drums, it had a different effect to it. So maybe you do something like that. All right. Yeah. I like that idea. I like Very that good. Idea. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, thank you for your wisdom, Uncle Vinny. Yeah. And I guess we'll enjoy your enjoy, enjoy your, your Mexican, Mexican food. food. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ole. Cheers. Gracias, amigo. Later, man. Bye con Dios. Later. All right. That was uh, questions with yeah. Vinny, everybody. So yeah. yeah. So that's very an interesting idea. That was an interesting. So idea. I I would think like after the uh, like. It, well, how it, so it goes the. I think we'll we'll, we'll have to get to it to, for it to make sense. Yeah. So maybe we'll just play it and then you change it up where. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It Let's, would be like the second half of the. Okay. Stuff. So all right. Let's ready? just play it again. Yeah. We play the same shit. He's yeah. Do you guys different. just do what do you. Okay. You do you. Yeah. They did, they did some kind of drummer mind meld that we weren't a part of. So okay. Uh, no. I, okay. Yeah. It's like hardcore riff. Yeah, I get it.
right. So how about doing that just on the so the first one you play it straight. The second one you do the halftime. Okay. And then the halftime at the end I really liked. Okay. As well. What do you think about that? Or the the halftime three. I have to hear three. it again. Do you, okay. Okay. Because the halftime at the end got weird for a minute for me. Well, I fell out, and I think we've, and then we didn't come into the baka baka baka. Maybe yeah, maybe hmm. maybe it's just yeah. the halftime for a bit, then speed up, and then. But well, let's just do it again. I think it's right, playing yeah. it straight on the first one. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, then half half time on, on the second one. Second half of the second one, or the whole thing on the second one. Just the, like the second half. Second of half, half of the second okay. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's just try it again. And then that, and then that would be we would be at the stop at that point. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's like kind of a, a th- hardcore breakdown right before the stop. Right. It's like just like oh, open up this pit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like fucking hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. fuck you. Ass. Fuck on you, eat up! Eat vegetables! <laughs> eat vegetables! I feel like that's uh, a new $50 fame yeah. song. Eat vegetables. <laughs> our, <laughs> our hardcore <laughs> vegan. <laughs> we, could yeah. do, we could do a hardcore album about how to parent. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> two dudes with no kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, two dudes, no kids. Eat. Yeah, that's the name yeah. of the album. There it is. Two dudes, no <laughs> kids. Oh, that sounds a little. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. Eat your vegetables! <laughs> <laughs> Dad, put it in your mouth. Open up, here comes the airplane. Eat your vegetables. Yeah, eat it. Vegetables. Yeah, eat it. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open up this pan. <laughs> So I totally redlined my channel, but that's okay. It'll sound yeah. cool. Be worth it. That's what so. kids like these days. <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah.
definitely more interesting. Yeah. I, I uh, hmm. came in a little bit late with the uh, yeah, <laughs> slow part on that second. But it was, it's definitely chorus, cool at, but at yeah. the end. I like it. I think. Uh, Do you like the slow part in the middle there? Like um, if it were one I w- longer? I want, yeah, I definitely, yes. Yeah, bass is all right. <sighs> I think it's good. I think it's coming it, along. It's coming along. It's getting Do like, there. Do you like the slow, p- the slow drums? The who's who? Do you not like them? I don't know. I do. I think it's neat. It's different. Do you feel like it? It goes on for too long, as slow. You know, I like shit fast. I do fast and loose. <laughs> I like yeah. shit fast also, mm-hmm. which is why I also like. I never would have thought of doing that. In, you know, <laughs> well, right, right, right. Well, we'll listen yeah. back. We like it. Yeah, we don't we'll like listen, it. What we, the we fuck? We change it. it. Okay. So. Oh. oh. Okay. All of this is a work in progress. Agreed. That's right. Agreed. Agreed. Cool. Tiddly winks. So, yeah. Yeah. So. So. That'll do it for this episode of Idiots with Instruments. If you would like to tell us what we're doing wrong, please email us at redhotrebellion at gmail.com. We are on the social medias at Red Hot Rebellion. Send Andres Rebellion pictures of your poom. Yeah, I uh, I love getting poom pics. Yeah, poom pics abound. And if you have any suggestions for people you want us to talk to, let us know. Or if you have any questions for Uncle Vinny, send us an email, redhotrebellion at gmail.com. And uh, I don't know, did you do that? Is that happening? I am sure. Jim Tramontana <laughs> saying stay jinky. I am Jim Tramontana saying keep it simple. Yeah. I'm Doug. Stay hydrated. I'm Andres. Uh, don't play acoustic. Okay, goodbye. Idiots with Instruments Bye. is a solid arts and science production. All rights reserved throughout the multiverse. Please subscribe and review the show on iTunes or your podcatcher of choice. Visit idiotswithinstruments.com for exclusive bonus material and to support or sponsor this show.